listen, we're going to play a lot of grab ass and have a lot of jokes and have a lot of fun today. But right That's at the top of the show, game. you came we, out all business, but man, you really came out hard business. But let's roll. Go ahead. Sorry I'm to interrupt, up, partner. We're coming out hard business because. I, I want to just get this over with. We we lost somebody who was universally respected in wrestling mm -hmm. this last week. Uh, the late, great Jay Briscoe. When people talk about the Mount Rushmore of Ring of Honor, I don't think there's any denying uh, Jay Briscoe and his brother Mark were there from the very beginning. And Jay was there till the wheels fell off, man. You talk about a pillar for Ring of Honor, their former world champion. Uh, their most prolific tag team champion, one of the greatest tag teams of all time. And now in a much bigger way, there's things more important than wrestling. His daughters are, are in a long road of recovery, but, but Mr. Briscoe lost his life. And I know there was a, a celebration of life that was recorded sort of on the fly when you guys were in Fresno last week. And I know that, um, Tony Khan has stepped up behind the scenes. It's not really my place to say, but I know that. He's going over and above for that family right now. And I, I know that there's a lot of criticism to go around and a lot of tribalism and wrestling and people say, Tony con this and Tony con that. Let me just say he's the dude for the way he's handling some of this stuff. And, um, I, I just, I, it's one of those deals where it puts some of our real life nonsense. Maybe we got this disagreement with a family member. Maybe we got this issue at work. Maybe we got this bill we're stressing out. Something like this brings clarity to all of that. And it's a reminder of what's really important. And what's really important is our family. And Jay Briscoe, not only was he a great wrestler, whether it was singles or tags, but he was a great family man. He was a great husband. He was a great dad. And he's no longer with us. So I just wanted right at the top of the show, before we get into playing grab ass, to just take a few minutes and talk about Jay. You know, Conrad, as I'm just sitting here reflecting, um, as we talked before we got rolling here, um, I guess I'll, I'll kind of, uh, as we say, uh, be rigorous honesty, how life moves so fast. I have, uh, done a couple of work calls this morning already, Jim. You know, you know, our regular scheduled date to record my world. Uh, it's been a super busy weekend. Uh, what is it? Three or four weeks back to back, uh, West coast jaunts, uh, on top of a lot of other things. But, um, the reality is, uh, you were just talking about Jay as a talent, uh, as a pillar, as a family man, all that. I I'm just gonna, as I just sit here and reflect how fragile life is. Yes. Um, that is what comes to my mind that, um, you know, recently we, we've had our podcast about Don West and it, it was a multi year up and down struggle. And I think everybody, uh, can, can relate to that, um, that, you know, in a lot of ways, um, you don't want to think it, but we kind of had an understanding and hoping and praying for the best that Don wasn't headed or wasn't, I guess the better way to say it is the beginning of the end, uh, headed in that direction. In, in Jay's case, all in about 60 seconds, um, the news of Jay was, was, uh, I, I mean, uh, so I was on a flight from Dallas to Fresno. Um, Mark Henry was sitting right across the aisle from me. Um, a member of the AEW, uh, staff walked up, um, and just leaned over and kind of shared the news with both of us at the same time. Um, you know, me and Mark were, a minute before that irritated that the Wi-Fi was not working on the flight properly. It was in and out and in and out. We were watching ball games. Um, but right then, you know, just the reality check that we're sitting here aggravated about Wi-Fi and hearing the news of, of Jay and, and then his daughters and just, 
as the details began to come out, just how, man, how fragile life is, how uh, blessed. If you're listening to this, there is a gratitude list, I believe, that you can make a mile long. Just having the opportunity to wake up and go about your day, um, there are no problems in, in life. There are no issues um, if you get the opportunity to breathe in the air and um, you're six feet above ground as opposed to six feet below the ground. So, you know, Jay, um, it goes without saying, I had breakfast with Jay Lethal um, last Wednesday morning. And, um, you know, he worked, uh, with Jay off and on for years. Um, the look in Jay's eyes told me a lot of, and look, I, I, I worked with the Briscoes. I saw him at the, um, Crockett cup last year and just th through the years ha have been around them. Um, uh, obviously at, at, now at AEW, but just what a special human being, uh, the, the funny stories that you hear. Um, you know, when, when I, uh, uh, discussed it with Karen, when I got home and she was just still, you know, j just the disbelief. And, and of course, a mother's heart goes right to the daughters in the hospital. And, you know, Karen goes, you know, every time I was around them, they always called me Miss Jarrett. And she said that would irritate me. But in a lot of ways, uh, j just good dudes, great dudes, human beings, real deal, um, goes without saying phenomenal talent, uh, all the above Dutch Mantel is the very first guy who said, Hey man, let's take a look at these guys. And that, that's not for discussion here because, you know, they, they were cornerstones of ROH, but, but, um, just what a tragic loss. It is such a unbelievable reminder. And as I dove off into this episode, uh, I appreciate you bringing it up at the top because, um, that's the reality of the fact is that we, we, we think we have no problems. Well, I heard her saying recently that um, I'm kind of going to hang my hat on and I hope I remember it. Problems are only pathways to progress. Um, that, 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 that the, the reality of, of, of Jay's passing is just a, a unbelievable reminder, just how uh, fragile life is. And uh, I am grateful that uh, all the blessings I have in my life, and hope those daughters, man, Conrad, that is a tough, tough situation. Um, uh, you, you hear bits and pieces of positive progress, but uh, their life was forever changed in a heartbeat. I, uh, I don't know what else to say. I, I just want to, I want to thank everybody for being a, a good wrestling community. You know, at, at times there's. There's tribalism that exists. And if you like this, then you must hate that. And once upon a time, you know, Jay tweeted something that was regrettable, but boy, did the wrestling community step up to support him. You know, folks on that side of the fence who, who had every right to be offended came to his defense and said, man, he was a changed guy. I got to know the real God and judge him on that tweet. And everybody came together. And I mean, everybody, including Michael Cole, giving Jay Briscoe a shout out on commentary on Friday show and you see WWE talent wearing the armbands and all the way over in Japan this past weekend, it's acknowledged and he left a, a mark and, and an, he had an impact that I don't think even he probably understood at the time, but, um, just thoughts and prayers, you know, seems like a cliche thing to say, but your heart really does go out to the real life pew family. Uh, not just his, his brother, but his wife and, and his kids and his parents. And it's such a tight knit family group and we're all pulling for them. And it's times like this, that remind us that this really is just one big community. It's not AEW versus WWE. It's wrestling fans, man. We're all kind of in this together. And, uh, I hope that we take this as a moment to stop and smell the roses and lead, you know, let him lead by example in the way he took care of his family and really had his priorities in check in that regard. So shout out to Jay Briscoe and the entire Briscoe family. And, uh, we'll do what we can to honor his memory on our podcast network moving forward. But I have a feeling that some wrestling promotions are going to do the same. 
Yes, they are, Conrad. You know, I was sitting there uh, for, for for my experience. Um, I'll just say this, and I'll I'll let you take it forever, or we'll, we'll move on. But you know, in my experience with with the passing of Owen, it happened immediately, and um, it was almost as if. We obviously didn't forget him, but we were back to work in the group. For myself, I didn't process it and and definitely didn't grieve it. Uh, however you want to say that, ego, man's man, it's not what we do. We, we don't talk about it. Let, let's just move on. Uh, that caught up with me uh, 18 years later, however it may be. Uh, so I encourage anyone and everyone to get it out whether it's a laugh or a cry or a discussion or just talking about it, uh, let your soul grieve. It is, uh, it will happen at one point or another. So, uh, I think there's a process everybody goes through. So, uh, it, it, you know, in so many ways, what you just said, community coming together, uh, is a, is, is a blessing. And, um, you just did a heck of a job, uh, pointing that out.